Jackson. Hi, buddy. Hello. So we moved Wilson back into the orchard and his little girlfriend over there joined him. And I don't know what it is, but like something about him being in the orchard and only with one other sheep has made him super friendly again and just kind of remember us. So I think he's no longer hanging out with that bad crowd of young teenage rebels. Uh, he's just hanging out with his little girlfriend and he feels comfortable again and super friendly again. And it's nice to have our little Wilson back, you know? Not right, Wilson. What is it, Wilson? Welcome back to the channel. It is the definition today of miserable winter weather. It's cold, it's wet, it's very windy. And um, something that I have been meaning to take care of for a while but just haven't gotten around to it is happening right now and it's the perfect day for it. Actually the perfect day would have been when it was sunny and warm and I could have everything all open and not worry about freezing my arse. A-R-S-E off, but that's not the case today. It's cold out there and these old single glazed windows, as beautiful as they are, let in a ton of the cold from outside. You can see that there are these gaps here. You can hear that, it is so windy outside. All right, so we're gonna do a little experiment here. Take a look, see how much literally just blew the candle out. That's how much is getting in here. Really a simple, easy, cheap hack. You just take this tape and this foam, it's sticky on one side and you essentially just cut it to measure and apply it where the gaps are. Uh, that will help us retain more heat inside of the house. And then the fun part is opening the window towards the wild weather, which just makes the room so much colder, so you gotta do it fast. All right, so here we go. Did you buy tangerines? I did buy tangerines, okay? <laughs> We're on a bit of a fruit kick. It's like that midwinter, like getting scurvy and you just need vitamin C. That's what's happening around here. Also, I think going to Fiji just spoiled us in, in the sense of like, there oh, being a lot of fruit. Oh my goodness. and then diving right back into the middle of a cold, wet winter was kind of a brutal shock to the system. And it's hard at times like this not to feel overwhelmed because we still have so many projects and many of them have become quite pressing. So I feel really lucky to have a great therapist that I can talk to every week with BetterHelp. So I wanna say thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp is customized online therapy with video, phone, and even live chat features with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that will give you access to help that may not be available in your local area. You just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and you get matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Then you schedule secure video and phone sessions, plus you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential. Honestly, every session I have with my therapist, Orencio, leaves me feeling empowered and with the tools that I need to handle the ups and downs of daily life. But if you're not feeling the vibe with your therapist, you can request a change at no extra charge. So many people use BetterHelp 
out that they're actively recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. So join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month by using my code at www.betterhelp, that's H-E-L-P, dot com slash vagabond. We got errands to run, supplies to buy, and jobs to do. Let's go. Timber is safely temporarily stored. Also, on another good note, the garage still a mess, but it's not flooding anymore because the little job that we did to fix the flooding tank seems to be working, which is fantastic. That is a huge relief. But um, on another fun note, we had a big windstorm um, a few days ago. There's a lot of timber that has fallen some nice branches, pine on the road. So we're gonna take the old chainsaw and we're gonna go harvest some of this timber while I still have the trailer. So I've thrown the chainsaw in the back and all the equipment, protective equipment and all that stuff, fuel, etc. cetera. And uh, we're gonna go chop up some logs. So yeah, in this last storm, all of these big pines up here, they're pretty old, pretty top heavy, so it looks like this has fallen off, but this will all be good firewood. So I'm gonna grab the chainsaw and get to work on this. All right, well, we're making some progress here. We've gotten some of the larger bits already done, but there's still fair bit of saw work left to do. Some little ones over here, but it's really these big ones up top there, which I'd like to get. And then we can just move all the rest of this out of the road, clear the road off, head back, unload the wood, and we'll deal with like getting it all ready for firewood and stuff later. But for now, Harvesting it, getting it off the road. Yeah, it's fun. I should also mention that I was assisted by a friendly passerby named Dustin, who also was up here collecting firewood. And uh, so he and I tackled these big logs together, moved a lot of this stuff out of the road, and now I'm just kind of doing the last little bits of cleanup work. So awesome. Love how friendly people are out here. It's great. I'm literally steaming. That was good. It's good work. And uh, yeah, this will be steaming up my house. Keeping it nice and toasty next season and just using what mother nature provides. So I love it. It's so good. Free firewood, clearing the road, doing a good turn for the neighbors and for the planet. Okay friends, well there we have it. We have successfully converted this closet into proper laundry or linen closet. Um, there were the setups for these um, shelves, 
but not really any of them. They were just like half shelves. You can see the two different tones. The darker wood is the old stuff that was already in there. And the new wood is what we've added in. So we've added a whole shelf here on the bottom, a half shelf here, half shelf here, uh, an additional little runner in the middle just to pull this shelf all the way out so it's flush. And then we've secured those top shelves there. So this will be our linen closet now. And, and I've gotten all of my tools out of here. This was where I was storing, quite disorganized to be honest my tools for a long period of time um, and Carrie's been wanting to get in here and use this fully for a linen closet. So that is what it will be from here on out. Friends, welcome to the disorganized wonderland that is the garage. This building, when we first moved in, was very neglected. Uh, it had broken doors, bifolding doors, which were probably the original doors on this building from like the 1950s. Um, we replaced that with a rolling garage door uh, because the <laughs> every animal that wanted to could call this place home. There's bird poop everywhere. When I first moved in, there were a ton of mice and rats. And I've been working slowly but surely and diligently in sealing up as many of these entry points as I could find. And uh, what I want to do with this space is convert it into a proper workshop. Uh, there's a small bizarre room back there that I'd like to knock the wall out. And then another, there's another dividing. Essentially there's two spare rooms back over there that aren't being used really for anything right now. And I want to make those accessible, but that is further down the line. First and foremost, since I've moved all the stuff and all of my tools or many of my tools out of that cabinet, which is now the linen closet, I have to have a uh, storage for them and I want it to be organized because it's so hard to work well in a disorganized space. And so what I've done is I've purchased a piece of plywood, and the idea being I'm going to pull off all of the old nails and stuff that was being used as a really DIY tool storage situation. Essentially just a bunch of these old nails that previous owners had just hammered in there and bent up so you could hang a tool on it. I want to get rid of all that. I want to put up a new piece of plywood right up against that wall. And then I have these tool organization hangers. And the idea is we will have a blank space, clean blank space up there. Then I will be able to use these tool hangers to have an organized area, find a home for every tool that I have. And then once that tool finds its home, it always goes back into its home. And that way you don't misplace tools or lose tools. And it just makes this whole area way easier to work in. So um, it's kind of overwhelming and it's one of those things that like, there's a lot of work to do in here, but I think that in the short term, just getting this and getting the tools organized is really gonna help me um, help facilitate better work quality and more productivity once I have an organized workspace. So. Let's see how much we can achieve today because it is Sunday and I'm meeting up with a neighbor in a couple of hours. Um, and so I want to kind of just be done with this. So let's see how much we can get done.
last thing I'm gonna bring you up to speed on here is that we've kind of shifted gears again. We desperately need an office space. Both my wife and I work from home. We need a good edit bay. And since we've moved into this house, we've really just been editing videos out on the dining room table. And it's not a sustainable long-term solution. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually turn this whole wall into a, we're gonna turn this whole room into an office and we're gonna have a wall-to-wall -wall length table. We're gonna be using these pine planks. I've measured them up. We'll cut them so that they fit this space and then we're gonna mount them to the wall and we'll have a couple of little storage um, containers underneath and we're contemplating potentially painting that wall for like a, a different little splash of energy because everything's so white in here. Um, but yeah, so this is gonna be a big project. I'm gonna save it for its own video, this office renovation, and um, I'm gonna leave you there because I have a lot to do, and I am going to say thank you for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, join the adventure, join the channel, hit that subscribe button, and yeah, drop a comment down in the comment section, and we will see you in next week's video. Peace. Mm -hmm.